So today we're going to explore evaluation and focus on Edexcel 2.0, paper one, question two and question five. And these questions lead us into the bigger 12 mark question six. Evaluation means to make a judgment. This meal looks absolutely delicious. What are your thoughts? Does it? Find three ideas to say whether or not it looks delicious and I want three of your own ideas and then for each of those ideas explain why it does or doesn't look delicious and then evaluate is this successful in making people feel that it's delicious or not. Prepare to share your answers so we're going to pause the video and have a share and then we're going to go through this together. Okay, so having looked at your own opinions and your own ideas about whether something is nice or not, we realise that actually we evaluate all the time um, based on our own experiences and based on the evidence that we're presented with. Now let's have a think about this question in more detail. Paper one, question two and question five are worth six marks. So if we're presented with this, for example, in this image, the artist tries to persuade us that hobbies are important. We would then be told, evaluate how successfully this is achieved with three reasons for your opinion. Let's break this down a little bit more. So what you need to do is find three ideas about the artist presenting hobbies and whether they successfully present that they're important. You're going to, for each idea, explain it, and then you're going to evaluate whether this is successful or not at persuading. First of all, let's relook at the question. So what I'd be doing is underlining the keywords in the question. So does it persuade us? Is it persuasive? And is it successfully persuasive that hobbies are important? So does it present hobbies? So what can we see? Find three ideas that show that hobbies are important what about this might, what about the content that you can see might successfully show that hobbies are important or actually fail to do that? So have a look, pause the video and have a think about whether you can find three things and then we're going to go through it together. So step one is find, find three things. Um, now the three things that I've found is number one, it focuses on one woman. So it seems like it has a limited viewpoint. It seems to be limited in, in showing one person, one woman doing something. Equally, the focus is on one hobby only, art and sculpture. So not hobbies generally. So again, I find the focus here is quite limited. Now, the woman presented doing the hobby looks really sophisticated, and I find this appealing. So I found three things that I can talk about in terms of whether or not this is successful at persuading me that hobbies are important. Now, step two, now that I've found what I'm going to talk about, is to explain. And I'm going to use the word because, because the word because naturally leads me to then begin to explain myself. I'm going to do it in three separate paragraphs because that makes it really clear to an examiner um, and to myself that I've covered three separate topics. So I'm going to say I only suggest women need hobbies because the artist focuses only on one woman. I'm also going to say I only suggest one hobby, which is art and sculpture, and because of this limited focus, it doesn't represent hobbies generally. I'm also going to say the woman looks well dressed and sophisticated and because of this it makes me think a hobby would make me seem sophisticated. Now I need to get on to taking this a little bit further in order to evaluate. So let's go back to these three ideas and let's just build in some more because in order to start evaluating. I'm going to say firstly, it only suggests women need hobbies because the artist's focus is on only one woman and therefore it's unsuccessful because it wouldn't persuade a wider audience necessarily, i.e. men, to look and say, oh yes, I need a hobby. 
It only suggests one hobby, which is art and sculpture. And because of this limited focus, it doesn't represent the hobbies of many people. It only represents one hobby. And because of this, it might not appeal to everyone. So it's not successfully persuasive about taking up hobbies. Now, the woman looks well dressed and sophisticated. Because of this, it makes me think a hobby would make me seem sophisticated. So this would successfully persuade the reader that taking up hobbies is a good thing. So you can say that you can find some things successful and some things less successful, and so on. So what did we learn? What are the key ideas? Well, the key ideas are that we need to find the evidence, we need to explain it, and we need to evaluate how it is successful or not in terms of its effect on the reader. Is it achieving its purpose? Some key hints are that you need to explain why this makes it successful or not. So you can use words like because, because that in indicates to the examiners that you're about to explain and that you're about to evaluate. Um, ideally, write your points in separate paragraphs. So three points in three paragraphs. And to help yourself and the examiner to follow your flow, you could use words like firstly, secondly, and finally. Here's a template that you can use as an easy scaffold. Find your quote, explain what the quote is doing in relation to the question, and then mention the reader. What would the readers find? So evaluate whether it's successful or not based on what the readers would feel. And that's what we're doing for this question. It's three paragraphs with three separate points evaluating whether or not this successfully does what it intends to do.